So now let's move on to some of the other cool effects that you can do. There's a really large number of fun preset effects. You just open that effects browser and uh, you'll see into the audio category, we have distortion, echo, EQ, levels, modulation, spaces, specialized, and voice. And we're going to go through a few of these. I'm not going to walk through the all 400 filters, obviously, but just to give you a sense of how to preview them and how to make use of them. So we'll start at the top with distortion. And this, the thing that's nice about all these, they fall in these categories. I was describing before Final Cut and then Logic and then Mac OS X. And it's kind of confusing the way they're organized. But often what this is, is that the Final Cut list at the top, these are presets. These are samples. So, for example, let's just play this. I know, I still sleep by the phone under my pillow. Let's find a little bit more exaggerated one here. I know, I still sleep by the phone under my pillow. Right, and telephone. I still. And so you see, the way I'm previewing these, I just position my cursor over them, and I can skim them, but skimming isn't terribly useful, especially on such a short clip. So if I just position my playhead over them and press the space bar, right, then you can hear the preview, and uh, let's try underwater. Just sounds awful muffled. Vintage radios. Under my pillow. And so again, these are all these are all presets. Let's turn off that skimming there. And once you choose one, you can just double click it and it applies it to the clip and then you'll see it appear up here in the audio pane in the inspector. And you see here I actually have four different radios to choose from. These are four different presets all under this category of vintage radios. So we can hear what the 1931 radio sounds like. I still I still sleep on the phone under my pillow. Or the 1957. I still. I, know, I still sleep on the phone under my pillow. The 1967 pocket transistor. I still. And if you want to understand how it's being done, you can. it's very clear by seeing these controls underneath it. So you see, with this 1967, there's a little bit of compression going on and the channel EQ. And if we want to see what it was done, there's the EQ. This is the EQ settings that were done. And this is the compression settings that were done. And you could, of course, manipulate those further if you want to customize them. If I go to the 1931 radio, there's also a distortion element added. So not only do we have the compressor and the channel EQ, but we also have this distortion setting. And all of these are the Logic plugins. So you see down in the Logic, I've got Clip Distortion, Distortion, Distortion 2, and we can again preview these. Right, and of course, these are much more intended to be, you put, apply them and start adjusting the settings, so the preview are, are less valuable. These preset ones that come under the, under the top category of Final Cut, these are more intended for quick and easy, just slap it on and, and move on. Uh, but what, the way they work is they're a combination of other filters, of these other plugins that are used to create this effect. And then finally, under Mac OS X, this is, this is just another category of effects. And again, this is just a type of distortion that you'd have to apply and then adjust the individual settings. If we move on to Echo, uh, same idea. At the top, under Final Cut, you've got ones that are a little bit more... I still sleep by the phone under my pillow. Sort of just preset, ready to go. And of course, once you apply them... I still sleep by the phone under my pillow. Actually, let's delete that vintage radio there and uh, hear that again. My right, because it was applying the existing filter as well as the current one. Uh, and then again, same idea down in the logic category. You've got much more uh, specific ones that you can apply more custom settings. And similar down here. And you know, just because the preset of that one has such a longer delay setting does not mean you can't customize it. If we were to apply it, it would apply up here, and we'd see that there are there are no presets built in here, but there are individual parameters, or you can open up the the display over here and see the and so forth, and you can customize these to a great degree.